All right, then it's time for yet another 70 URL. Way of God, 70 URL 2023. Way of God. Pick to follow one of three random gods. The chosen god affects your gameplay. Explore a generated world with forests, mountains, and deserts. Level up your character as you defeat monsters. Minor bug fix, free 18 23. Range weapon distance, food bonus for, for, from god. Item in chest, monsters from quest to the axe. Building do, don't block each other. Zooming, main button, attack log, so. Looks like it's been a little bit of a fix here, that's fine. So yes, this is a downloadable game, and it's made by Loud and Gaming. Let's see how it goes. So created by Ken Loudon for Send URL 2023. So, I'm going to select a god, or you can reroll one. So, god of light deer, god of chili spike armor, or god of bright spike helmet. So, you may see, like, you know, select one of these guys here if you want to, but, um, to roll. So, note down here, basically, says god info. So, animal. Um, this basically animals that will not be hostile. So, basically, like, you know, mountain lion will not be hostile here, wolf will not be hostile here, goat will not be hostile here. Uh, armor. Increase armor value for wearing that armor, so basically I wear like spike armor or steel armor or golden armor, basically get like bonuses from those. Stat, basically get bonus to stats, so basically it's like boosting my intelligence. Food, increase XP and hunger from eating food, so basically if I eat like apple pie, small meat, or small meat, we basically get bonuses from that. Um, basically you get the idea here, basically you're like, you know, randomizing like, you know, your benefits basically is the idea here. So, increased weapon damage from like Longbow, Battle Axe, Great Bow. Double experience from like, you know, Goblin Archer, Goblin Archer, Troll. I know you what's basically the best thing to go after here, but, um. What is like, you know, a dangerous enemy? Maybe like a wolf? So, Steel Helmet is basically a bonus, Small Meek is a bonus. Speed is a, like, you know, stat, Goblin Archer, Battle Axe. Alright, let's go for this. So, God the Wise Wolf. Alright, so, we have 8 points to distribute for our guy here. And, you know, we can make our, our character a little bit here. So, down here, affects melee damage, so that's strength. Affects range damage, is your dexterity. Affects movement, is your um, speed. Intelligence affects basically the number of the points when leveling up. Endurance basically affects hunger, HP regen, and max HP. And um, hunger basically affects like HP regen. Alright, so. If I want to, I can basically throw it all into like one stab if I want to, but you know, we won't do that. So. I think we probably want to have strength for this character because we're basically going to be like, you know, lead based one, I think. Um, let's go for a little bit more speed, why not? And we'll go for a little bit of uh, intelligence because um, that might be important. We'll see. And yeah, you can basically achieve if you want to, but let's begin. So, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Scroll map with mouse to extra screen. So, okay, so, okay. Zoom in, zoom out. So, select the village to start off with. Alright, so we have like some villages here. We have like, you know, this desert one right here. We have like, you know, this forest one, beach, grass, forest, forest, grass, mountain. Alright, so. I almost feel like I should realize the rule too, but whatever. Um, being in a desert close to like all these bonds might be useful, so let's go here. Turn zero, hour zero, day zero, month zero, year zero. There's our HP, there's our level, there's our experience, there's our hunger, and all zero stats. Um, we have the map. And apparently, I'm going to quest all the way over here, apparently. 
So, move with WSD, melee attack with WSD, range attack with left click, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, scroll map with mouse to edge. There's my, like, you know, god stats. There's the map. So, basically, we're in a village here. There's my stats again. There's my inventory. I assume waiting will basically make you wait, so we'll make you know. I like how there's actually sound effects in this game, that's interesting. Now, I'm not sure if I think there is like sort of like, you know, um, yeah, you can see it's sort of like there, like the building is just like, you know, not really easy to see, I guess, with this terrain type. You have a hold down by the way, it like, goes pretty fast, which is nice. So you can talk to these guys to buy stuff. I've got 100 gold. And we basically benefit from steel hummus, but I don't have the money basically to buy it, so I'll have to hold off on that. I assume this is basically like a sort of game where you probably want to buy like you know something very simple to start off with. So let's buy this, and we'll equip basically a helmet. You can see the time is like you know ticking by here. Okay, so no bother. There is an issue of like running into walls. That's a thing because you know these seventy year olds don't always flush that out. But oh well. Small meat basically gives me a bonus of food, so we'll buy some small meat. Honestly, I should probably buy all this stuff, you and I. Well, we'll come back here in a moment. We're just going to buy some like other gear first, maybe. So you got axe and our stuff in here. It's the battle axe that benefits me the most, but you know, until we get to it, let's just like you know go for what with whatever. So okay, no, no. By the way, the, the values here. The axe basically has a wire value than like the spear. I assume if there's a sword, there's a sword. Swords basically have like you know, interesting. Swords have less value than a spear, but they have like you know, the same value. Maybe they're faster. Well, let's start with a spear. So we'll equip our spear. And yeah, don't bother if you basically like run into a building. You skip a lot of turns all at once. So there's a big issue of like, you know, running into build in walls and stuff in this game, so. Ah, another like small meat I can buy here, I guess. So let's get this. Yeah, I note that my hunger's gone down way below what it probably should be, but whatever. I guess there's no armor shop here, so it's gonna be a guy with a helmet and like his like spear. I'm almost a hoplite. I don't like the fact that my hunger's gone down that far, but oh well. We're just gonna buy these and we'll eat some like you know stuff to keep us alive. So we'll eat the soup, eat this apple, eat this cheese, eat this bread. I think the hunger clock's like a little bit like, you know, um, insane, but whatever. There's a snake. We got the snake.
Okay, so to pick up stuff, you have to interact with it. So basically, interacts our pickup key. So this is a lizard man right here, by the way. He had a helmet, that's fine. You know, I'm impressed. We might actually have a real traditional relic, basically here, with lots of depth to it. You don't see that a lot with 70 RLs. Okay, we leveled up. So I'm level 2 here. Let's go with more endurance. And we're just going to go here and we'll interact with this. Bird meat. You know, I say like the hunger clock looks like you know, sort of menacing, but it's actually more of a, you know, an issue of like that running into like the, you know, the walls being an issue more than anything else, I think. I'm wondering here a little bit, by the way, if there's basically a weight um, limit basically to stuff in here or if there's anything like that. Do, 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 do. There's a skeleton archer there. Okay, so you attack me right here. As it's a normal skeleton. Okay, so you got an issue where stuff can attack you through terrain. And I died. Alright, well. So, some issues with, like, you know, this game bug wise, but, you know, that's fine. Let's restart the game, and we'll start. Alright, so. I might want to go for something a little bit simpler than, like, you know, steel, like, you know, um, helmets or a battle axe, because, like, they take a little bit longer to get, so. I did see chainmail. So, helmet soup, intelligence, go for something a little bit better than that. I should also note, by the way, the skeleton actually attacking me there was kind of like, you know, dangerous. So maybe I want to like, get like, you know, something that's like a little more resistant to the skeleton archers. I don't see anything that says like, you know, animal skeleton archer here though, so... It could be that skeleton archers basically like don't really pop up. By the way, it's also in the desert, so it might be the desert's a little bit stronger. That could be a thing as well. And yeah, I'll note this is like one thing I don't worry about. So sort of like reroll and reroll and reroll because like, you know, you're trying to get like this good setup. Um, spear, zombie, strength, soup, steel armor, and goat. Axe, werewolves, dexterity, soup, golden armor. I'll have like, you know, maybe a good weapon, a good armor is a thing right here, so. Bear meat, speed, slime, bear. Got a blue bear. Let's go with uh, this guy. So that gets me a, a speed bonus apparently again, so. Maybe I'll try the bow this time around. We saw how the melee basically works. Let's try a bow. Ugh. Oh, I can also enter my name, so... The Fuxer plays! And let's do that. Begin. Alright, note this map basically randomizes, so that's nice. Um, we basically have Terran Village Grass, Terran Village Grass, Desert, Beach up here, Forest. Start this one this time, I think. So, I have to make my way all the way up over here, apparently. By the way, I'm hoping a forest has bears in it, so I can basically test out, like, you know, how hostile the bears basically are. Yeah, 
Yes, I'm being very, very careful not to run into stuff, because we know how, like, you know, damaging to my hunger that's going to be. Bird meat. Oh, small meat is not what I want, but um, whatever. Uh, let's go for bread. Just a little bit of bread, nothing special. Oh, that's locked off to me because of the rock. And of course we find the armor shop this time around. So let's buy the leather armor. Buy just the golden armor, basically it's like down there with like, you know, buy armor seven value of seven hundred. Because why not? I can't afford any of the armors, they're a little bit too expensive, but you know, they're there. So let's equip the lower armor. I'm noticing a small problem with the forest, by the way. Because it's so, like, you know, um, clustered, the village is not really, like, you know, well suited for it. Okay, so now we got our food shop here. We're just going to buy the bread. Hopefully, I don't need the bread that much, but, you know, just in case. Yeah, I know that my, my hunger is going down a lot here, even though, like, you know, I'm only wandering around like, you know, this village, village a little bit. I think like, you know, it probably make more sense like, you know, in a village that you don't use up all your hunger. Or maybe it's like, you know, it could be more merciful. Talk, because we've got a weapon shop. I want to get an axe. Of course, they don't have an axe this time around, so... Well, I didn't want to test out range this time around anyway, so longbow. We'll get a longbow. I didn't buy a longbow. I don't have money for it. Um, let's see if like this sells for like you know fifteen. It does. Okay, so I can sell the bread here. And we'll buy a longbow. Equip the longbow. So I'm not wearing any, um, like, you know, helmet, but, you know, maybe we'll find uh, something to help out with that later on. Alright, so, I have a, you know, direction for his quest, or something. Let's just, just, you know, test it out. Actually, I should see what happens if I basically, like, let my hunger run out, shouldn't I? So, that's a deer. That's a rat. Detect a rat. Goes the deer. They don't drop anything. I have a feeling that range attacks are very, very powerful. Well, they're powerful for Yemi, not so much for the player if they can see stuff. The force may not be the best thing for, like, you know, testing this out. This is the regular goblin. Very nice, he dropped something for me. That's possibly worth something. Is there a skeleton archer? I think the skeleton actually did see me, but whatever. Hey, I leveled up. Let's get a little bit more dexterity for range. We got the skeleton archer. There's a wolf up there.
I got the feeling that the rabbits aren't hostile, but you know, we'll kill them anyways. Let's bump this up a little bit. Get some strength. Now, I know by the way, because it's like, you know, in like sort of this grid space type of thing, it's very possible I can just like pop in here and like, you know, take a corner like up here as well. We got the skeleton archer. Who's targeting me? Galen Archer, of course, is targeting me. The skeleton down there for me to kill. Apparently, we've gone 32 hours here, by the way. I'm not sure this is ticking up properly, by the way. Is it like every like you know move is like a half hour? I think that's how it basically works. Basically, every like you know um, move is basically a half hour. So I've been already going for three months, one day, and thirty six hours. Interesting. Oh, I'm at zero, like you know, hunger. Interact with bones. I wonder if my like HP is going to start going down, or if like you know, anything's really going to happen. Let's get strength up a little bit. Take a small meat. Yeah, I'm not noticing any like penalty basically for not being like you know, well fed or anything. I can step on rocks, by the way, because, you know, that's a thing. I can't step in trees. Good to know. I really like the fact that there's, like, some tree you can sort of, like, you know, hide on. So, maybe, like, hiding behind a rock. But then again, I also get hit by, like, you know, enemies. So, it's not perfect. Probably. Oh, well, maybe there's reasons to take, you know, cover behind a rock. Let's kill this goblin over here. Skeleton archer. Goblin. There we go. Kill them both. You don't need much experience to level up, do you? Ow. He just has a regular bow. I forget, what am I equipping with? I got a longbow, so he's got this, you know. A regular bow, I've got a longbow. So, 3 to 7 for his bow, I've got 7 to 12 of mine. So, I do more damage because I'm basically, like, you know, got a better bow than him. I was wondering, like, if the terrain basically changes, like, stuff around. I think it makes this have different enemies to fight, so there's, like, snakes in the desert, but the skeleton archers seem to be something that's, you know, are going to frequent regardless. Zombie! I've yet to see any bears, though. Let's kill off him. More endurance. Yeah, I think the only thing that um, hunger affects is like, you know, how much like, you know, um, 
your HP regenerates. It's uh, actually hurting me to actually have like zero hunger. So. There's no reason basically to increase my um Well, I'll just do it just for a heck of it, but if I basically like you know boost up like um food for for a little bit, so this just boost is up to twenty-five. I think this like you know it'll give me like you know twenty-five like you know turns of of self healing. But there's no real benefit basically to like you know Eating, so to speak. I find it odd how hunger basically like goes down in intervals as opposed to like you know, it goes down like at four instead of like you know, like you know, bits by bit by per turn. But whatever. I do like a lot of what I'm basically seeing here, but there's a lot of like, you know, this walking so far. You can't fast travel or anything, right? So And you can't like move rapidly either, so if you want to get somewhere real fast, it's like, you know. Gonna take time. Let's go over here. A werewolf. So there's a werewolf. We killed off the werewolf easily enough. Uh, let's go with endurance. Oh, there are snakes here. Well. There's a slime. Hi, slime. Bye, slime. Yes, I'm a little, I'm a little psychopath killing everything in the forest. Something's up there. Hey, a helmet! I need one of those, didn't I? A vampire! Bones! I'm like halfway there, basically, so... I know that's my goal, I want to basically get over there, so we're going to see like, what basically gets me if we get over there. And yeah, not killing stuff is for the sake of killing stuff at this point, we want to get to our destination. There's a ghost. I'm not sure, am I seeing more like undead now as we like get closer to our destination? So, one, two, three, over two. Alright, it's uh, up two, over two. We're almost level 9. Yes, just gradually try to get myself over. Oh, is that a bear? There is a bear. I a bear. So those aren't hostile to me. Hello, Mr. Bear. 
He only gives me half experience, so we're just gonna leave him alone, right? So... Off them. I should start boosting up my intelligence, shouldn't I? Just to see if I get more points. I'm only getting like two points basically per turn, but so maybe if I get like up to experience like you know ten, we'll get like you know three. There's a troll. There's a long sword. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be like any like you know weight limit, so I'm just able to like keep picking up everything as I want to, right? So loot, 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 so to speak. Zombie again. Bones from the zombie. Bow. Okay, we're almost there. A dragon? Well, the dragon's dead. Get some intelligence. Okay. Was that my goal, just to kill a dragon? That seems like a, you know... Sort of simple objective is track down a a monster you're just trying to kill. Well, let's go to the grasslands for a little bit, and then we'll, like, you know, try and get down there, I guess. Ow, ow. Eh. Let's go eat a piece of bread. And yes, I can shoot stuff point blank, so bulls are very overpowered. Okay, we made it to the grassland. The grassland basically has like, you know, some chickens in it, it's got a goblin over there, there's a cow. Different biomes, different animals, so to speak. It's also a lot easier to sort of walk around here, because like, you know, open space.
There's a giant over there. You know, I wonder, like, if, like, you know, the skeletons are spying because they're, like, you know, related to a dragon, or if, like, something else is making them spawn, because I don't see any, like, you know, skeletons out here. Am I still in a uh, grassland here? No, I'm back in the forest, so... Oh, well, I, you know, I have to go for forest again, so to speak, but oh well. I should really test to see if we can go to the mountain, sure not, but you know. I don't know if it was targeting me, but whatever. Run! Oh, right, apparently I'm a human. Who knew? I don't know why I'm running this way, but you know. Okay. I was wondering there for a moment if, like, you know, we skip our turns and click on stuff without actually hitting stuff, but whatever. I I don't have, like, all day, basically, to play this game. But it's called here, I think. Let's just run to our mountain, I guess. We, I think grasslands are probably the most peaceful, by the way, so... Grasslands basically are like, you know, you're easy to fill, so to speak. Our bones. Yeah, I think like grasses are easier because you only have to worry about like these like you know hostile monsters basically showing up here on you or you know hunting you. Yeah, there's a cow dead. Oh yeah, I do, I do have a few points now. By the way, so more intelligence basically boosts up the amount of like um stash points you get to spend. Large meat, very nice. Hello, slime. Bye bye, slime. All right, so here's mountain terrain. And the mountain terrain basically has, like, you know, you know, mountainous, like, you know, decor. Alright, I think this is probably a good, like, you know, um, point to basically, like, you know, to end it, but... That was basically, um, Way of God. It's an interesting concept for a game, though I feel like it needs to be, like, you know, a lot more fleshed out than it basically was. There was basically balance problems with it, I think. There was basically, uh, um, you know, the bug of, like, you know, walking into um, stuff, basically skipping a bunch of turns. It doesn't really feel complete either, because, like, the hunger clocks don't really do anything to you, so... That might have been, like, on purpose, but it may also be the fact that, like, you know... You just didn't get around, around to implementing something. But, whatever. That's what we've got. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.